Well, Crystal accuses Anthony of sexually assaulting their three-year-old daughter on at least two separate occasions. She says the second time was on Christmas Eve. Merry Christmas. What? Okay, if that's not a bad time to make a joke, I don't know what is. Hello there and welcome back to This Week on Cringe, the series where I take a look at the cringiest videos I've found over the last week. And let's talk a bit about this clip from Dr. Phil. Crystal accuses Anthony of sexually assaulting their three-year-old daughter. Merry Christmas. That's fucking ruthless. And look at the mother's awkward nod. Ugh, it hurts. No wonder viewer discretion is advised. As you all probably know, the Super Bowl weekend was last weekend. And I've got some pretty good clips from that too. Everybody, this is... If you listen really closely, you can hear the sound of no one giving a fuck. Can I please just get a fly, eagles, fly, fly, eagles, fly. Oh no. I mean, props to the three people on the plane that actually chanted something. Although I have a lot of sympathy for the people in the front rows. We've all been on flights like that. There's a colonial woman on the plane. She's wearing to- <laughs> The video just cuts out when she's told to stop. Poor Jen. And here we have a small man being rejected from the Super Bowl podium. <laughs> Except this man isn't just small. He's Kevin Hart. I just love how he's being dwarfed by everyone. He looks like a really keen kid. It's always nice to see famous people getting rejected anyway. Here we have a clip from the Royal Rumble 2018 kickoff panel where one of the members of the panel doesn't actually know any names of the fighters. Are there any other superstars, any other women you watch when you're at home that you just really enjoy taking in and appreciating? Now, if I would say I had a favorite, would that be fair? How does it happen that you're presenting a show about them and you don't know any of their fucking names? Who's gonna win the Royal Rumble? Women's, right? Women's Royal Rumble. Yep. Okay, so. Yes. So who wouldn't? I bet she wants the ground to just swallow her up. But I think that's enough sport for today. Maybe even enough sport for my life. Here we have a man asking a woman about how she feels about his foot fetish. Oh, like, are you cool with this being like recorded right now? Sure. Okay, uh, uh okay, uh, I mean, like, how do you feel about a guy with a foot fetish? I hate watching videos like this. Yeah, are we now? Now, okay, so now, okay, now, um, we can, uh, I mean, like, can I please see your feet right quick? Oh, God, please. End me! Yeah, oh, I like can't. I see the bottom of them. Wait, bottom of them. You get top. That's what you get. If you have a foot fetish, that's okay. Just please don't do this. Which one of the other players on the other team would you say are your biggest competition in this game? Mm, no one big. Yeah, man. You show them. Well, you have lost three matches in a row. Yeah. So that kind of makes you the. It's just the sheer horror in his face when he gets shut the fuck down. I live for that. Now this next one is an old one. It's from 2012 and it's quite a long one. It's basically an X Factor audition from a guy that used to know Britney Spears and it's just... I've, I've just got to show you it. He spends around four minutes not answering a question about what he's been doing in the last ten years. What have you been doing the last ten years? What have I been doing? I have been doing everything possible. And then when he's finally pushed to a real answer, this comes out. What's going on? He's tweaking. I'm gay. Britney Spears goes from sheer, why the fuck would you say that, to, oh, I'm, I'm on TV. Uh, <laughs> well, well done. And after all this fucking awkwardness, we get round to the singing, and well, it's not the best. I found a way to let you in. Never really had a doubt. Oh, his lung's the size of a pea. I never even had a <coughs> I can't fucking breathe. I see that you've been through a lot. But um, to be honest, I'm just a little uncomfortable right now. Well, that makes two of us. And I'm going to be ending today's video with a fucking juicy one. It's from the series Don't Tell the Bride, where a man has to organize a whole wedding and it just always goes to shit. This woman clearly hasn't enjoyed her day. And this is what she does. I'm leaving, babe. Sorry, but I'm leaving. It's just all such a big joke. She ain't coming. Why? She's going into KFC. I just want to go to the toilet and get some normal clothes. I just want to go to the toilet, change my clothes and sip some fucking gravy. Honey, don't we all? I want to have my wedding in KFC. The wedding does go through after all, but look at the looks on their fucking faces. It's to die for. And by that, I mean, it makes me want to die. Do you, Craig, take Sophia to be your wife? I do. Do you, Sophia, take Craig to be your husband? I do. Oh. Just hurts, you know, just... Ooh. But I think that's enough for this week. If you want to see more of this series, let me know in the comments down below. But if you have enjoyed this one, please do leave a like, subscribe if you're new, or have not done so already, and I will... Fuck. Catch you... Next time.